वेलकम ऑफ यू इन रेणुका इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ नेट्स माई सेल्फ सोशल नाइक टूडे इन बायोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट ए टी पी कैलकुलेशन ड्यूरिंग रेस्पिरेशन ड्यूरिंग एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन थर्टी एट ए टी पी मॉलिक्यूल्स आर सिंथसाइज फ्रॉम वन ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल वेर आर इन एन एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन वी गेट ऑनली टू ए टी पी फ्रॉम वन ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल ए टी पी इज सिंथसाइज in two different manner the first one is a substrate based phosphorylation and in another that is oxidative phosphorylation atp is synthesized by substrate based phosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation remember that if it is aerobic respiration then and then both processes carried out in the cell but if it is an aerobic respiration in such case atp is synthesized by substrate based phosphorylation only as we know very well in the an aerobic respiration mitochondria has no role and that's why oxidative phosphorylation is not possible in an aerobic respiration what is substrate based phosphorylation remember that the process occur in cytoplasm and in mitochondrial matrix the phosphate released from the substrate help to phosphorylate the adp to form atp so substrate release the phosphate which react with adp to form atp so it is phosphorylation of adp to form atp which occur inside the cytoplasm and the matrix of mitochondria and that's why it is substrate based phosphorylation here the substrate is responsible for the phosphorylation process it is also called as an electron transport system with the help of oxidation energy adp is phosphorylated to form atp and that's why it is called oxidative phosphorylation the process occur in the crysti membrane of mitochondria but atp synthesis occur in the matrix of mitochondria in aerobic respiration glycolysis and krebs cycle carried out in the glycolysis by the substrate based phosphorylation if we talk to atp utilized in phosphorylation phase of glycolysis we can say when glucose convert into glucose 6 phosphate 1 atp is utilized and when fructose 6 phosphate convert into fructose 1 6 by phosphate at that time the another atp molecule is utilized so in the phosphorylation phase of glycolysis two atp molecules are utilized very as in dephosphorylation four atp are synthesized during this process remember that when 13 diphosphoglyceric acid convert into 3 phosphoglyceric acid one atp is synthesized and when phosphoenol pyruvic acid that is pep convert into pyruvic acid the second atp molecule is synthesized but remember that in the glycolysis dephosphorylation process occurs twice so we have two molecules of dpga which convert into two molecule of 3 pga that is phosphoglyceric acid and two molecules of pep that is phosphoenol pyruvic acid convert into two molecules of pyruvic acid and that's why four atp total synthesized during this entire process net gain is 2 atp by substrate based phosphorylation during the glycolysis now in the oxidative phosphorylation of glycolysis again atp are synthesized remember that when two molecules of pgal convert into two molecules of dpga that is 13 diphosphoglyceric acid two molecules of nad reduce to form two molecules of nadh2 nadh2 undergo oxidation in electron transport system 
from each molecule of NADH2, 3 ATP are synthesized. And so, from 2 NADH2, total 6 ATP are synthesized. And this is by the oxidative phosphorylation. So, we can say total ATP synthesized during the glycolysis are 2 ATP by the substrate based phosphorylation and 6 ATP by oxidative phosphorylation. So, 8 ATP synthesized during the glycolysis in aerobic respiration. Now, in Krebs cycle, substrate based phosphorylation occurs. When alpha ketoglutaric acid containing 5 carbon in the matrix of mitochondria convert into succinic acid that is 4 carbon containing sugar, 1 ATP and that is substrate based phosphorylation. Remember that in aerobic respiration, in each Krebs cycle, 1 ATP is synthesized. So, is substrate based phosphorylation. Now, by the oxidative phosphorylation process, remember that in each Krebs cycle, 4 NADH2 and 1 FADH2 synthesized. This NADH2 enter into the ATS to form 3 ATP molecules and when FADH2 enter into ETS that is electron transport system, 2 ATP molecules are synthesized. So, from 4 NADH2, 12 ATP synthesized and from 1 FADH2, 2 ATP molecules are synthesized and this way 14 ATP synthesized in each Krebs cycle. But as I told earlier, in each aerobic respiration, Krebs cycle occurs twice and that is why in 2 Krebs cycle, 28 ATP synthesized at the oxidative phosphorylation base. So, remember that total ATP due to Krebs cycle are 2 ATP by the substrate base and 28 ATP by oxidative phosphorylation. So, 30 ATP synthesized due to Krebs cycle in aerobic respiration. So, if we calculate the total amount of ATP in glycolysis and Krebs cycle is. So, total ATP in aerobic respiration, glycolysis and Krebs cycle, 8 ATP in the glycolysis during aerobic respiration, in the aerobic respiration 38 ATP are synthesized, but we get only 36 ATP in eukaryotic organism. The pyruvic acid convert into acetyl coenzyme A which enter into the mitochondria each process. So, for the 2 pyruvic acid which convert into 2 acetyl coenzyme A, both enter into matrix of mitochondria, total 2 ATP are consumed during this process. And that is why 38 ATP synthesized, but we need to deduct this 2 ATP which were utilized earlier in the process. So, only 36 ATP molecules we get in aerobic respiration. The efficiency of aerobic respiration is 45 percent only. So, 55 percent energy is released or lost in the form of heat energy.